Good day, y'all. Today's video is on a new toy that I got. It's a refractometer. It tests the percentage of water and honey. And basically, they send you a sample. And this is to calibrate it. Uh, the moisture content of this honey is 17.3. I'm not sure what the 13 color means. But back to here this comes with a little thing for scooping up the honey which I've used already I whacked sent the calibration off whack because I didn't know what I was doing when I first got it and I had to reset it comes with these two things all you do is pop this little uh, rubber lid off and there's a screw right there you unloosen the screw and then you turn that back and forth that's if you have to calibrate it. I will try and show you the, uh, the inside of what it looks like. I did say I will try. I don't think you're going to be able to see it on the... I don't, don't really know what I'm doing enough here. Anyways, um, what I did to calibrate it was I took some honey from here and you've got to uh, distribute it even across this blue line from one end to the other and then you close this and what and and basically it pushes out all the air bubbles then you go to this end and there's two blue uh, lines uh, one is the light blue and then the dark blue and the dark blue come down on the right side to just above 17. So it does work. I just can't, I can't figure out how to. And there's another, uh, this comes with it as well. It's another prism, I believe. So it's very handy to have if you're going to have a lot of honey. I would like to know the percentage of water. So. I got it at Bee Made. Now, topic two, let's talk about the weather here in Canada. You can see the temperatures now, we're in uh, Celsius, so let's go to Fahrenheit. Just click it there and it'll come up. It's now Fahrenheit. So, that's the weather here in the sunny old Alberta. Let's go click on, uh, this is a few days, let's click on the next. So, I don't know what part of the world you live in, but yesterday morning it was minus 42 out in the country here. Uh, the Monday and Tuesday were down to minus 36 and that is in Fahrenheit next night minus 32 next night minus 27 so I think we're uh, uh, in a cold snap here an Arctic front just gets ridiculous and then around the 20th, it looks like it warms up to, oh, only minus 9. So I'd say we're in the deep freeze here for the next, next little while. Anyways, back to this. Um, if you're going to sell honey, you got to have one of these. you got to test your honey. Each uh, box that I take off to extract the honey will be tested as it's taken off and after it's processed it'll be tested again so there'll be no funny honey I want the real stuff so thanks for watching I wish you all the best in 2020 
And the reason uh, I've been commented on why I make a comment on the end of Keep Your Stick on the Ice, I'm a retired referee. I refereed for 20 years. All I said was, keep your stick on the ice, keep your stick on the ice, keep your stick on the ice. So that saying has kind of stuck with me and I use it now in my videos. But uh, I started refereeing in 1979, I believe it was. And I refereed from 1979 till uh, 2013 or 14. And then the guys just got too fast and I, I couldn't keep up, so I retired. Anyways, don't forget, keep your stick on the ice. Take care, all.